This is CBS. Earlier this year, Assemblyman Melvin Zimmer introduced a new tax bill. He called it the Fair and Simple Tax. It's simple, all right. No deductions for home mortgage interest. No deductions for charitable contributions. No deductions for medical expenses. Simple? Sure. Fair? Not if you're a taxpayer. So here's a consumer protection tip from Nick Pirro. Before Mel Zimmer tells you what he's going to do, make sure he tells you what he's done. Nick Pirro, Fort County Executive. Excuse me. Sir, what are your specials today? I don't know. Do your entrees come with salad? I don't know. Do you have escargot? Escargot. No. May we see a menu? Yes. No. I don't know. If it's out there, it's in here. The 9X Yellow Pages. Why would anyone need another? Once upon a time in Syracuse, New York, there was this club with a program called Club Pack. Club Pack included 30-day unlimited membership, aerobics, fitness equipment and free weights, fitness testing, racquetball instruction, sun tanning facilities, and lunch in the lounge. Club Pack. It's not a dream. Club Pack, over $200 of fun and fitness for only $19.50. Club Pack, a dream come true at a price you won't lose sleep over. No matter how careful you are, how safe, it all comes down to this. When you hit the brakes, they have to stop more than a ton of moving cars. So when your brakes aren't right, put them in expert hands. My decides, we don't miss a thing. We fix them right the first time. That's why Midas can guarantee its brake shoes and pads for as long as you own your car. It may be the most important guarantee you'll ever get. My decides, get it right the first time. In Canada, where this is considered social climbing, you don't make a faint-hearted light beer. Now there's imported Molson Light. There's excitement on Magnum, Saturday evening at 7 on TV5. There's a penalty flag down as time runs out. A dream come true tonight for the Syracuse University Orangemen. At a pep rally last night, they promised a win over Penn State. Tonight, they delivered. Boy, did they deliver. Lynn Houston. Tracy Davidson. And Mike Tirico on sports. This is Union Center 5. Good evening to you and welcome to our news. It was a dream come true this afternoon under Syracuse's Carrier Dome. Carrier Dome the Syracuse University Orangemen for the first time in 28 years have gone 6-0. and oh, Mike Tirico is with us at the Dome. Mike? Unbelievable, Lynn. Incredible, as they say. 1959, the Orange started the season 6-0, and oh, won the national championship. They were looking for another 6-0 and oh start, but to do that, they had to beat Penn State. You know the whole story. They haven't beaten Penn State for, since 1970. Well, all that ended this afternoon right behind me in this dome. The place is wild. The excitement's happening, and we're going to get to all of that. But we got to get to the game, and the first play of the game. Johnson is out. Two new corners for Joe Paterno, and McPherson will go to work against them right away. Down deep, down the middle, and he's got it. They'll score on the first play of the game. Rob Moore for a touchdown. 80 yards. And from there on, it was clear sailing for the Orangemen. A little shaky moments in the fourth quarter when the second and third string it came in but after that the first string came back in the defense held Penn State and the Orangemen have beaten Penn State for the first time since 1970 you saw the final you saw the action here on TV5 and we're going to be with you for a while coming up we'll talk live in the locker room our sports director John Eves will get a hold of coach Mack we'll get a hold of the key players and we'll catch a lot of the excitement on what will be another exciting night in Syracuse Lynn Houston New Orleans when SU made the final four in basketball was exciting they're going to tear Marshall Street down again tonight. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. We'll check back with you later. Obviously, the fans of the Syracuse Orangemen are overjoyed with the events of the day. Dave Bullard is with us live from the Dome with a report on how they are overjoyed. Overjoyed is uh, an understatement, uh, Tracy. We have behind us some of the people who uh, attended today's debacle, the Syracuse-Penn State debacle. Uh, for the first time in 17 years, Penn State fans can rightfully say that they're going home with their tails tucked between their legs. Penn State wiped out. I don't know how I'm going to get the rest of this out, Tracy, but we can say that the Syracuse fans, while they have been exuberant, they have not been over-exuberant. Let's talk to a couple. All right. How's everybody feeling tonight? I would say that that was a pretty good estimation of how things have been going. However, tonight, down on Marshall Street, will be the test of the proof of the pudding as police try to keep a lid on what may be some more celebrations. Uh, people are filtering out of the zone early. And, Tracy, I don't 
there's any way to continue this, so we'll throw it back to you. Help. Help. Thanks, Steve. Did he say something? I couldn't hear it. Help, I think. <laughs> well, with a Carrier Dome packed today with over 50,000 fans on hand, you might think that battling through the crowded streets on the hill might be mind-boggling. Well, it just isn't so. In fact, it's an experience to walk along M Street or Krause Avenue to check out the sights or a bar for an eye-opener. Behold, your basic SU fan. And your not-so-basic SU fan. Thousands file into shops to pick up some last-minute orangeware before the game. Do merchants mind the crowds? Well, we are busy all the time, but naturally today there are 50,000 people up here on the hills, so we are extra busy. Do you like it that way? We love it. It's exciting. It's very nice. The merchants love it, and so do the fans. They say the crowds remind them of the good old days. I like it. I like it. I like the atmosphere. That's why I'm up here. Don't bother me a bit. I love it. Every bit of it. Just like basketball season, now football's back where it used to be. And I love it. You don't mind getting pushed and shoved everywhere? No, I don't, don't bother me at all. Crowds are something you put up with your entire life. And as the old saying goes, if you can't beat them, join them. But then there are the other guys that you don't usually make a habit of joining after a game like this. Carolyn Coley is standing by with the TV5 Live Eye. Carolyn? Hi, Lynn and Tracy. You know, Penn State may be the epitome of an SUR tribal, but if you've ever been to an away game, you know that the fans come for just more than going to the game. Meet what SU fans call the enemy. During home games, we see them come to Syracuse, dressed in their team's colors. They're the ones who give their alma mater a good name. They're a breed that's prepared for anything, but they're here with one purpose. This is the first time I've been in Syracuse. I like it. Good town. We like it. We don't like orange, but we like blue. But that's okay. <laughs> a little too much orange in the town, but for us, I mean, the people are really nice and we're having a good time today. A sea of Winnebago's and blue sweaters fill the Manly Fieldhouse parking lot in the morning. There are lots of things to do at tailgates, like meeting the opponent's coach. <laughs> Joe's nicer anyway. It's also a chance to partake in what some might call amateur hour. <laughs> have come a long way to watch their team play, whether it's win or lose, but they say that tailgating is a big part of the game. What do you think? Well, we want to know what you're going to be doing, Carolyn. We want to know what you're going to be doing after the game. I don't think she can hear us. I don't think she can. Carolyn? I don't think she cares. <laughs> <laughs> Continuing. <laughs> fans from Penn State, fans from Syracuse, all wanting to see the game today, but some without tickets. Scalpers did good business outside the dome today. Get 200 bucks right here for three seats. You are looking at the hottest commodity in Syracuse today. Tickets to the game. If you needed a ticket to the sold-out event, you had to pay. And pay dearly. Section 223. She is SU. Look. She's University of Penn State. Okay, and how much? with them. And how much? Huh? How much? 200. 20 for both of them? 200 for the pair. $200 yeah. for both of them? A lot of money, yes, but maybe I can talk him down. 200? Give, uh, 150, I'll give them to you. 150, you'll give them to me? Yep. 125. 150. I don't want down, now you're trying to bring me down. I don't, I don't want. You want 40 a piece for him? Yeah, that's all. 80 for the pair? Yeah. They're right there on top of each other, too. Let's get 80 for the pair. It may seem like a lot, but people were willing to shell out the bucks just to get a peek at the game. 50 is my limit. Unless five minutes before the game, I'll pay 75. 200 bucks, three seats. Got him, I'll take it. No doubt about it, people were making money. These women wanted $150 a piece for their tickets. They said they'd rather go shopping than watch the game, but the price had to be right. And by the way, if someone is caught scalping, they could be charged with a violation of the general business law, and that charge carries with it a penalty of possibly a $500 fine or up to a year in jail. There was other news today. Jimmy Durante used to say everyone's trying to get in on the act, and that was true today for politicians who've been eclipsed in the headlines by the SU Penn State event. Bill Carey reports. Let me say I'm, I'm pleased to be here. 
and there's been a long time uh, in coming. Not my coming, but this is a special occasion. So special, in fact, that it had the candidates for county executive and some state politicians dressed in orange in Syracuse today. With less than three weeks to go before Election Day, media attention is important. And if you're a candidate and you want that attention, what you need to do is tie in to a media event. Democrat Mel Zimmer lassoed the state's lieutenant governor into coming to a pregame party. The goal, to tie the candidate and the campaign to the excitement over the game. It's great for us because it not only gets our people excited, but it gets the whole city of Syracuse excited, and that's what we're happy about. It's one of those good breaks, and SU's going to capitalize like we're going to capitalize. Just how many voters will be reached by this message is, of course, open for debate. But for one time in the campaign, it was time for the two contenders to agree on something. Support for a home team. Politics, for a time, had taken a back seat to sports. Bill Kelly, New Center 5. The Carrier Dome wasn't the only place where they were celebrating today at taverns all across the area and at homes in hundreds of neighborhoods. The fans got together to cheer on the Orange. This was the scene at Rosie O'Grady's in Syracuse, one of the places those fans got together. The celebrations were loud and boisterous, to say the least, and those celebrations were expected to last well into the evening. Syracuse police plan a major presence tonight on the Syracuse University's Marshall Street area, and they'll be trying to avoid scenes like this, seen after SU's loss to Indiana in the final game of the NCAA championships. The police are hopeful that an older crowd, better feelings about an SU win, and a better security plan will all combine to keep the situation under control. Police are planning both foot and mounted patrols to control those crowds. Just ahead from News Center 5, a look at Syracuse's rising crime rates. And of course, we'll continue our coverage of today's big game between SU, Orangeman, and Penn State and New Lions. Stay with us. You know, we're going to catch some gold around here. Today, I think. <laughs> I found it! <laughs> Esmeralda, I found it! It's gold! <laughs> it's all the gold I'll ever need! Key Bank MasterCard Gold. All the gold you'll ever need. Available now at Key Bank. PNC presents The Big Book of Savings. A step-by-step -step guide to lower overall prices. Step one, stay low prices. We take items you use most and keep their prices low, week after week. The brand may change, but that item will always be marked at a PNC stay low price. When it comes to saving you more on your overall food bill, we wrote the book. PNC. Now at Pizza Hut, you can create your own Priazzo Italian pie. Loaded with any of your favorite ingredients. Fine cheeses. Fresh vegetables. Savory meats. Just choose the ingredients you want, and we'll follow your recipe for the perfect Priazzo Italian pie. Create your own Priazzo at Pizza Hut today. What goes in it is up to you. Stephen and Elise Keaton. They were children of a different time. The 60s are over, Dad. Now they're parents with their own children in the 80s. You two never stop, do you? Welcome to the family that puts the fun in America's generation gap. What's the power, power me? I was a symbol of that twisted era. Now you can join the Keaton family five times a week. Like a dream. On Family Ties. Family Ties, weeknights at 7 on TV5. The FBI says crime was up in Syracuse over the first six months of the year. The report out today shows the biggest increase was in burglaries. They were up nearly 60%, climbing from 1,568 to 2,120. At the same time, though, larceny thefts dropped dramatically from over 3,200 to less than 3,000. Overall, the number of crimes in Syracuse was up by just over 400 from the same period a year ago. Meanwhile, a campaign is underway to recruit those interested in a career of law enforcement. The Onondaga County Sheriff's Department is looking for applicants, particularly women and minorities, for the position of road patrol deputy. The job is said to be a rewarding one. I think it's very, very challenging, and uh, I think uh, 
why you're never going to get rich in this business, you know, uh, let's put economics aside, I think there's an enormous good that can be done, and, and I think the young people that are in the job are there for the right reasons these days, and, and generally find themselves very well satisfied. The filing deadline is November 2nd. For more information, you can contact the Onondaga County Sheriff's Department at 425-3025. Republican New York Senator Al D'Amato has decided to vote in favor of the nomination of Robert Bork as a Supreme Court Justice. Bork has virtually no chance of winning confirmation. A majority of senators, 54 of them, have already said they will vote against him. D'Amato says many of those decisions were made on the basis of bad when we information. Look at the record, we clearly see that his record has been tremendously distorted by uh, the opponents. This has been one of the nastiest... Um, episodes as it relates to a nominee with distortions and by the way the charge of politicization that's nonsense this is a political process but when you misrepresent when you distort uh, that's wrong and that's what the motto and other members of the Senate are expected to begin debate on the book nomination next week the campaign for Onondaga County Executive drags on this weekend the candidates taking time to hammer away at themes first aired in a new Center 5 debate on Tuesday night. For Nicholas Pirro, the attack on Mel Zimmer as an invisible state legislator who's done little to aid the community. He's been invisible for the last 13 years. He's only surfaced in the last two months to express his concerns. He wasn't there to help on Onondaga County in many of these projects when we needed him. For Zimmer, it was time again to raise his claim. Pirro is too beholden to J. Patrick Barrett, the top the campaign contributor. He all these contributions. He continues to say to me that uh, it's wrong for me to talk about the amount of contributions. When you take $39,000 from one source at the same time that source is getting a no-bid contract, that leaves the impression with the general public that there's the potential for conflict of interest. Most recent polls show the race is tightening, although Nicholas Pirro continues to hold a lead of just over 11 percent. New York State is stepping up its appeal to New Yorkers to buy homegrown products. It's an appeal they're hoping you are listening to in the days ahead. The state's agriculture commissioner is spearheading the new $1.3 million promotional campaign. Donald Butcher says the money is being well spent. Because in the long haul, it's an investment in the New York State economy. The more New York products that are purchased by consumers, the more money that comes back into the New York system. And our products are the best and, and can compete with any other uh, produce. And we just want to be given that fair opportunity. We think we need to do that. Butcher's department is issuing the seal of quality labels to New York State grown products, meeting some state requirements. They think the seal could help boost sales once their promotional effort takes hold. There is still no word from the state capitol on the fate of state legislative aide Norman Adler. Adler's claim to fame came in a hallway of an office building in Albany this past week when he confronted a reporter trying to check up on activities of a state assembly committee. Adler didn't want the reporters there. Who's paying for these places in space? Serious, Brad. I mean, I'm asking you, get no. Get here. And make arrangements with Jeff Taylor. And get arrangements with Jeff Taylor. Make hey, arrangements with Jeff Taylor. With Jeff Taylor. With Jeff Taylor. Jeff Taylor. Why are you crazy? With Jeff Taylor. State Assembly Speaker Mel Miller met with Adler yesterday to discuss the situation, but he's not saying what was discussed during the two-hour session. For now, Adler remains at his state job at an annual pay rate of $79,500 a year. There was much discussion of job security for a top network news anchor recently. Dan Rather was in trouble after storming off the set of the CBS Evening News in a protest over network coverage of a tennis match that cut into his Evening News time. Veteran anchorman Walter Cronkite says Rather's action, keeping with the network, keeping the network off the air for six minutes, should have led to his dismissal. A CBS vice president in Syracuse this weekend says no. No, because I tell you, I think that anybody who's running a local television station will tell you the same thing. First of all, you want desperately to discipline that person immediately because you are just as emotional as the event is at the time of the event. And then you sit back and say, wait a minute, this is a human being. Uh, he is an important part of our broadcast operation. And what you do is have a long talk to make sure that you have the straight story. Uh, I don't believe the kind of retribution that Waller is talking about is in order here at all. Alara says it's been made clear to Rather that in the future his protests should be kept in the office and not on the air. A call for men to change the way they deal with problems today. Uh, the call came at a Syracuse meeting of Brother Peace, a movement to end male violence. To change the violent characteristics of men, organizers say it's time to blur the distinctions in the way we raise males and females. There are social and cultural influences 
And the reason I can conclude that is that not in every society are males so much more aggressive than females as they are in our society. I really believe it's a socialization issue. I think that men have been raised to learn to use violence as a way to resolve conflicts. And I think that we need to present, present role models for young men about ways to deal with conflict nonviolently. When we blur the distinction between male and female adult roles, we get a lot less felt need to be macho on the part of males. Uh, in my view, it's this uh, sense of having to display manliness which uh, frequently gets us into an awful lot of trouble. The group says if some men will speak out now, it could lead to changes in the way other men think. A life-saving saving technique was taught to area Girl Scouts today. The art of Aikido was demonstrated by Central New York experts to the girls. While a physical lesson is important, understanding that danger exists in our society is foremost. We have Girl Scout troops meeting at, at night and they should be able to protect themselves if they are going out and walking back and forth to the meeting. Sometimes they are meet at least to 8 or 9 o'clock at night and we want the girls to be able to protect themselves at all times. Heard says that attacks on young women have become something too common in our society. Tracy, this week some 65 chapters of the statewide Association for Retarded Citizens came together to share ideas for the coming years. Current issues like the proposed closing of several developmental centers in the state were discussed, but the focus of the convention was on the acceptance of retarded and disabled citizens into the community. There are um, a lot of people with disabilities in our state, and they're very, very capable of doing a lot of things, and we're here showing that and, and, and proving that um, our folks are integrated into the community. In addition to the daily seminars, clients had an opportunity to display projects from the chapter workshops. Still ahead, Mike Tirico and John Eves join us for a complete review of today's action under the Carrier Dome. And we'll review another day of beautiful Indian summer in Santa New York. And more from the Dome. Stay with us. Cook Cable Vision cuts the cost of cable with multi-channel packages at affordable prices for your viewing and VCR convenience. Got a new cable-ready TV? Celebrate with our family theater package. 33 channels of cable, the Disney Channel and Home Box Office together. Right off the cable, only $32.95. Save more than $10 a month. Take your choice of any two premium channels. HBO, the movie channel, Showtime, Disney, or Cinemax, plus 33 channels with the convenience of remote control, all for only $38.95 a month. Save more than $5. Disney alone has been cut from $13 to just $7.95. And there are great savings on three, four, and five premium channel packages. Catch the excitement at Cook Cablevision, the new name in town. Don't miss any of our new fall lineup, including exclusive NFL on ESPN. Call now and save $25 on installation. Operators are standing by, and every 10th caller wins a free MTV t-shirt. In McDonald's, we're tossing salads fresh all day. Every day. I mean, it's fresh when you get it, and it's fresh when I pop it in my mouth. It's like having somebody come in your own kitchen and make you a salad. I come through the drive through it's quick, it's easy. McDonald's Chef Salad, Chicken Salad Oriental, and Garden Salad. For a taste that's tossed fresh, fresh. It's really crisp and fresh. My taste buds just went crazy. Toss fresh all day. Mick, 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 Mick McDonald's Salads. Hello, I'm Johnny Cash. He's the award-winning superstar. Performer, songwriter, actor, entertainer. Because you're mine, I walk the line. In concert, featuring June Carter. We got married in a fever. I hear the train a-coming. Tickets on sale now at Famous Artists, the Landmark Box Office, and all Ticketron outlets. Or charge by phone, 1-800-382-8080. Downtown is perking up at the galleries. Get it while it's fresh. Showplace of Central New York. Remember your promise when you earned your basic nursing education to provide the best health care your training allowed. But nursing today demands a higher degree of knowledge and a more active role in determining the future of the profession. The Health Science Center's College of Nursing invites associate degree and diploma nurses to grow in the profession by earning a combined baccalaureate and master's degree through full or part-time study. 
You'll gain the skills needed to be a clinical nurse specialist and to keep pace with the demanding field. Let your future start with us today. The right kind of education can help a child with special needs realize dreams and goals. The New York Institute for Special Education is a private state-supported school. The multi-educational facility provides quality education, career, and life skills training to children with handicapped conditions. Every child receives a specially designed program to meet his or her own needs. For further information, call the Institute at 212-519-7000. As you can see, we have a live picture now for you from the Carrier Dome. A beautiful night out there, Tracy. And rightly so. And a, a great night for the Pumpkin Festival, too, down in Hamilton. We couldn't get a Did pumpkin here. There? No, I didn't get there, but this uh, orange uh, flower will make <laughs> us think of that anyway. Great day out Going today. on through tomorrow, too, there in Hamilton. Okay, so if you want to go down there, great day today. You know, even if we didn't have the dome, it would have been a great day to be outside because it was warm, sun was shining, cooler temperatures ahead, though. And we'll get to that in just a minute in the five cast. First, let's take a look at our statistics for today. Beautiful dome once again. Our high was 71 at 250.